Hi everyone, Friday, October 7th, we're going to do three things with Spyglass Lending where we're taking you a little bit further behind the scenes in the mortgage and real estate industry, something than the usual fluff you get or the clickbait headlines. We are going deep here. It is time to really get to the gritty. We like to do that every Friday. We appreciate you joining us. Let's get right to it. Number one, number one on the board, time to prepare. That sounds ominous, Aaron. You're right. That does sound a little ominous. It sounds a bit fear mongerish, uh, and I don't mean to be, but I think it's time we had this conversation together. We just started Q4, and even though we came out the gates with a bang in the markets, with a big resurgence in the, in the Dow, the Nasdaq, the S&P, guess what, the past couple of days, uh, we've all come back down to reality. And the expectations for what is coming down the pike. There was an article that came out the, uh, just a few weeks ago, actually in the past week, that said 90% of all CEOs around this country who have been polled are preparing for layoffs, are preparing to cut things down. This has already been going on in Silicon Valley. We've spoken about it on this particular segment on Fridays as to what's coming. The smartest people in the country up in that neck of the woods were already preparing for this. As of six months ago, we've already seen all their stocks take a big hit in, since the beginning of the year. And that is really the pulse of this country, certainly. And it is time to prepare. Well, time to prepare for what exactly? Well, what it looks like if interest rates stay elevated, and more than likely they will. We're in that 6.5% range right now on the 30-year product. We touched 7 not that long ago, and the expectation is we're going to see 7, if not over, by the end of this year. And what's it going to look like into 2023? Time to prepare if we do head into recession. Yeah, another jobs report came out today that we're adding jobs to the economy. Great. What happens when that turns the next time we hear another report, or two or three from now, if the Fed keeps raising their interest rates like they promised to do at least one more time this year, and more than likely into next year what happens if you have still have high inflation and you have uh, a, a, a downward um, excuse me jobs report right what if we're all of a sudden in the unemployment phase well then we're going to be in stagflation very different look time to prepare for that not a crystal ball on this side of the fence not making any predictions but we've been talking about it a long time almost a year here that we were heading in that direction i've been prepared for it i think everybody should be prepared for what that is going to look like to their own equity, to the housing market, to their own pocketbook. That's where we're at. Number two, investor sentiment. This is an interesting thing. I'm a private and hard money lender. Been doing that close to 15 years or at least brokering those type of loans. I speak with investors all day. In fact, that's mostly who I'm talking to. Yes, I do conventional financing for those who own homes who want to buy a home. Yes, I do cash out refinances again for primary residence homeowners, non-QM individuals. But most of the time, I'm talking of investors, flippers, developers, builders, small balance portfolio uh, owners, commercial real estate owners, industrial, what have you. And the interesting thing is when I talk to them, what is their sentiment? Blood in the water. Uh, they're circling. They expect, most of them do, that there is going to be a feeding frenzy by the summer of next year. Again, no one is, is exactly predicting this massive, downward, uh, you know, cataclysmic, dropout in the home market. Well, I'm going to say some people are. I'm not everybody I spoke to, but they still expect that the softening you're seeing now is going to continue to open up and there's going to be opportunity for them. That's how investors think and they really feel like that's coming by the summer of next year, which I guess brings us back to number one, time to prepare. Uh, and number three, and this is a big one for me, demand on watch. Watch in quotation marks. So let's watch what's going on with the demand because more than anything that we talk about, hey, the shortage of inventory, hey, inflation's high, hey, the interest rates are going up, what does that do to the demand in the marketplace? And really, by all measures, it has plummeted significantly. Buyer demand has plummeted significantly. When does it come back? How much does it come back? If you want to watch anything, watch that over the coming weeks and months and certainly the 2023 it's going to tell the tale of the tape. Thank you for joining me today. This has been Three Things with Spyglass Lending. We'll be back next Friday with yet another segment.